Let's open up Capture Age. I'll see, see Tower Warrior Monks, yeah. How do you perform multi-conversion with the monks? Do you have a hotkey? Yeah, I just, uh, I use the uh, idle military hotkey. Okay, we're on Arabia. So, let's see. Get this out of here. Uh, let's look at Yellow Jacket's point of view. There we go. So, yeah, we've got Z Georgians. Which also start with a mule cart, so Yellow Jack did not build this, he just got it for free at the start of the game. And it cannot collect pigs, as you can see, because it's considered like a building, actually. It's super weird. Building that moves. And, um, yeah, it only has 300 HP though, so they do get taken out fairly quickly if you're not careful, but the mule cart can garrison inside buildings. So, when you're running away with your vills, you can just run away with the mule cart as well. It's pretty cool. Now, looks like they only have two pierce armor, though. It, maybe it, it must upgrade in, in, the, um, in the next age, right? Because that's that would just die to archers. I'm pretty sure they take one damage from archers, but I, I'm not 100% sure. Anyways. Um, Alright, so let's see. This is 12 or 2100 game. It's going to be pretty good. Yellow Jacket always liking to go forward and scout. Just, I mean, the thing is, is you can, you can, um, you can, what is it called? Uh, still push deer if you scout first. If you scout early and then go back and push deer, it's completely fine. Of course, your opponent might, um, might deny your deer push or something like that but you know you can have your scouting information and then you can plan your strategy a little bit better honestly this is probably the better way to play is to scout first and then and then um push the deer later because then also your sheep are scouting stuff the thing is you have to find your sheep first so i think i think maybe i'll try and do that is like find the sheep go scout go back and push deer because then you can plan your strategy so much better if you know how your opponent's map layout is. Just like the basic layout. Forward berries, forward gold, forward woodline. Okay, now we know that we can go aggressive here. Um, and it's probably going to be pretty decent. But if he has a map that's super easily wallable, everything's like in the back or something, maybe you don't try and go heavy aggression. Something like that. Um, so yeah. As this sieve, since you start with a mule cart, this counts as a prerequisite building to go to the next age as well. So you don't need to make a lumber camp. Well, you, they can't make lumber camps, but it's basically like a lumber camp. So since you start with it and you still have the same amount of wood as normal, you get 200 wood, you can make a mill, you can make four houses in Dark Age without chopping any wood. Which means you can go up super fast. Yellow Jacket is going to click up on 18 pop, 17 villagers. And I actually made a build order for this Civ. And you can do 17 pop, 16 villagers up. And you can still make scouts. But with 17 villagers, it's going to be a little bit better in terms of you're just going to have a bit more resources. So it's slightly later, but you'll have more resources this way. Which uh, means you can make more things. At the cost of going a little bit later. So, depends on if that's a trade-off that you want to make. And, uh, yeah, Yellow Jacket gonna click up super fast. Ethiopians will be up on probably 20. And then they, they can do a few things. They can go men at arms off of this timing as well. Ethiopians, of course, they get 200 free resources on the next age. They get 100 wood, 100 gold, or 100 food, 100 gold. So, um... Yeah, that can be used to make men at arms upgrade. That can be used to get fletching. It's pretty good. Did you win the second game versus Vihin Gay? I did. Um, barracks is yeah, perfect timing. Perfect timing. That'll give your vill just enough time to go to the stable as well. Nice. Yeah, this is working out pretty well. Do we have enough wood? Ooh, we better get some more straggler tree vills. You're gonna not have enough wood here. It's gonna be really close. It's gonna be close. Yatish, hello. Uh, okay, yeah, it'll be fine. Barely, barely. 
But, I mean, that's what we like to see, is just barely having enough res. That's called efficiency. Better right there. Beautiful. And, uh, yeah, the opponent revealing his scout here as well. That's horrible. Because now he just gets killed. And that is why, if you scout first as well, and then you go back and push the deer, you don't just lose your scout at your opponent's base. Stuff like that. Kind of, um, big brain on this yellow jacket guy. Stable going here. And, um, double bit is in as well. You don't need two vills here. The opponent lost his scout, so using two vills on these, that's the only little inefficiency, but not the biggest deal. This new DLC is better. What do you mean, the sieves? And what do you mean by better as well? That's very subjective. What if I scout first and lost scout to the TC? Oh yeah, then you just lose the game, I guess. So that's a, that's a risk you have to be willing to take. Okay, and you can't fight that, but you gotta go forward with these. Yeah, exactly. You go forward with these, you make a range at home. These walls are way too big. Oh, what? You can't get these walls up, can you? And he's gonna go this way anyways. You wall this, okay, yeah, you will be able to get your walls up as long as you wall to here as well. Okay, let's see what damage you can get done. Nice, there's, there's, that has to be a pick. Eh, you have, do have to micro it though. Oh, man. Uh, yeah, yeah, you'll get it, you'll get it. Good micro. He's got the spear, but now let's see what, dude, you didn't wall this. Oh my god, oh yeah, you forgot. You were microing here and you completely forgot, oh my god. Uh, the quick walls are good though. You get two more here. Beautiful. Oh, that one has five in it though. Oh, nice. Yeah, easy. You pay attention to the details. That's good to see. The range is gonna come up. And yeah, opponent was just too slow with these men at arms. He's not gonna kill this. You just spam click him back home. And uh, yeah, as long as you you need to build another one through the corner there though. Oh no, yellow jacket. <laughs> Always check for those. Oh my god, if Blue realized it. What is Ink doing? Um, Really like Armenian demos and specifically on Valley. Yeah, I've been seeing those those posts in Discord. The Armenians having 33% extra blast radius or something. Pretty strong. Um, Okay. So, oh, we got Horse Collar. All right. Oof. Right into those. Yeah, he has a lot of spears. Ethiopians, of course, they have the the um, free pikemen as well, so they can be pretty tricky. Pretty darn tricky. The mule cart. I mean, okay, so basically, you can construct the mule cart anywhere, right? So, you could just build it, like, wherever, and then send it out when you're ready to go to gold. It's kind of, like, you can use this kind of bonus really in interestingly, like that. It's like, you can you can get them prepared under the TC and just send them out when you need to. Just instead of sending all your bills out here, then you're going to get denied when they come over. Then you have to send everything back. Uh, mule cart, uh, I don't think it heals by monks. I think you repair it like a building. Yeah, because I think it's more like a building. That muscle memory is going to be hard to break. Yeah, yeah. It's learnable, though. So with the ranged units, we'll be able to actually take some spears. So the only thing is that we're chasing these men-at-arms, so we're missing kind of any timing to go forward. But I think if you sent your ranged units forward, you could be taking them off of berries here, right? Maybe even taking them off of gold. Because for some reason, he didn't add a range. He just tried to go FC, right? Or, like, faster castle with no building. Um... I guess you just didn't realize it, but yeah, you could have just let these guys chill around because they're not going to really do anything. You just wall everything in and then you just go forward with the ranges. But now we're getting a little bit too late because he's going to Castle Age. Mule carts can move with your guys. Yeah, I think you task them to the resource and then they like follow the, the uh, resource or something. Yeah, something like that. Um. Ooh. Not a good trade. Okay, but yeah, Ink is gonna be up, and what is he gonna do? 
He sold his stone to go up. He's gonna probably buy stone back and... Wait, he's making pikemen. What? He's making more infantry. What is Ink doing? You can't go low eco infantry play. Oh, the stand ground. Let's go. Anyways, everything's dead. He's adding an armor. He, he must buy the stone back and make TC. So that's the only play he has, right? Free pikemen, but I mean... Doesn't matter if they're pikemen or spearmen, they're gonna die to these range units. Google carts are Xbox optimized. Oh, well, he might, he could make a single camel as well if he wanted to. What is Ink doing? Is he gonna make knights? He might make like some knights actually. But I think his only play is to add TCs. Oh, but he's adding forging. He's going like all in on nothing. What? He's going knight. Is he going knights? No, he's going infantry. But like, you can't just spam pikemen. Oh, he is making a knight. Yeah, I mean, he needs to clean these up with the knight. I mean, if, if he makes that, but pikemen apply like no pressure. This isn't a play. Because what is he gonna do? He's coming to the walls, he hits the walls. Okay, ting, 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 nothing happens. That's all that's gonna happen. So he needs to add a TC, right? If he goes two TCs and just starts to boom, then maybe. <laughs> You're probably wondering what he's doing as well. He, he just feels like he's doing nothing here. I don't really get it. He just FC'd for the sake of FCing. <laughs> I mean, the archers will get messed up, but still. It's not the biggest deal. Just, you can get that pikeman. Oh, this click. Yeah. Oh, you, you should kill that. You should definitely kill that knight. Yeah. Get, oh, man, man. Yeah, yeah. It's worth losing a scout for. No, no, get it. What is this DE? Oh, <laughs> the DE fail. Yeah, you can't just right click units anymore. You have to control click them. Otherwise, they, they just go for whatever. In the past, you could still right click and they would sometimes go for the unit that, that you click. But now, it's really bad. They just like attack whatever. Which can be good <clears throat> for noobs who don't know the patrol command. Like it's gonna, you just right click all the units and then your your dudes will attack pretty effectively. But it's not good when you actually want to do micro because you have to hold control for everything. It's kind of annoying. Anyways, we're up, but like, yeah, okay, he's making siege, but whatever. Oh, that's kind of maybe we should have checked for that. Now you have to wall this. Yeah. You have to, like, delete a farm and wall this. Oh, man, that's actually a disaster. That never should have happened. But, I mean, you should always be checking your walls with Palisades, just to make sure. Did he not know where your TC was or something? I guess, no, he, he did. He just didn't control that properly. Double range? I guess you don't see this yet. Ooh, this is actually getting a little sketchy. This is getting a little sketchy. Oh, it's easy to check for the walls if you just palisade scan. That's what you do. You don't look at it visually. You just make a palisade foundation come up and then you just see. Oof. Oof. Whoa! He didn't go in though. Ah, but he's still forcing your farmers away. Okay, this is getting pretty sketchy now. We're not going to get anything done here. Cav archers? Yeah, if you can get a siege workshop down, maybe. Or monastery and convert knights could be okay. You're going to go out to the gold there. Okay, makes sense because you need gold. <laughs> in, in like one month when people get used to this, you're going to see casters be like, He has a mule card. He's making another one. Oh... That's just like habits. Obviously using this mule card here is is way better because you're not really using it, but yeah. It's just, it feels so right when you send Vils to make a camp. It just feels like the right thing to do. Oh wow, they don't, oh wow, there's a bug where if you select it, it selects like two in here, what? Who's this one? What? Is there two mule cards here? Wait, hold up. What? It was showing, it was showing two when I was just clicking. Okay, now it's only showing one. That's weird, I have no clue. If 
few Moncus would be nice. Yeah, I mean, everything cost. If we didn't spend on this, we would have had enough for a monastery, though. So, actually, when you don't have a lot of resources, that kind of thing matters. Gonna get the Siege Workshop. Yeah. I think Siege Workshop's probably the best play. Ethiopians. Do they have Redemption? I don't think they do, right? Mule card selection is just borked on CA. What? Oh, Capture Age. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe. Counterattacking is correct. That's definitely good. Then you can see if he's going TC's behind this as well. See if he's all in or whatever. And if he, since you're going to see the CC, yeah. You'll probably see that one too. Oh, no. Oh, unfortunate. But this is good. Yep. Two. Here we'll let them fight and see the kill counter down here. But we're losing Vils here. Do we have a Mangonel coming in? We do. Okay, so it comes down to what your Mangonel can accomplish here. So I'm going to place a trade card on the gold tile. Oh, man. They, yeah, they look somewhat similar, right? Oof! And there goes Ink's push. He made so many scorpions. Honestly, if he had like two more mangonels, if he had like four mangonels right now, that's a bit more scary. But you know he's on three TCs now. No, oh, you didn't see this one yet. Okay. But you know he's adding TCs, so you know that this isn't super all in. So yeah, exactly. You know that probably adding TCs is good. Because if you just if you just make units, it's just not gonna be great, because he's just gonna outboom you. Um, so yeah, I would say that that's the correct decision here. He does have this annoying hill here. Super annoying. These knights don't really have upgrades. Like, he doesn't even have armor, so they're not that scary. All things considered, but they can still snipe mangonels. We garrison mule carts to make them go faster. What do you mean? I mean, you can, you can teleport them across the TC. Oh, you mean like put things inside the mule cart? No. They don't have any garrison space. Yeah. Oh. Eh, hey, what what hey, what did the units do there? Oh, big bada boom. Oh, can we see another one. Shoot the knights. It doesn't matter though. Oh my god. That was huge. Yeah, if you can kill these. Oh, he's going to lose them. He's going to lose them. He lost three. That's so good. All right. Well, game is still not, like, over. But you do have army, and his army's kind of about to get wrecked here. Oh, man. Oh. <laughs> Ink. Ink. He would be like 2k4 if his micro was a bit better. I feel like I see Ink kind of mess up his micro a lot. He he could def... Like, obviously he's an older player, or he's been playing the game a long time. And uh, people didn't really use to micro a lot back in the day. But these days, it's like, it's kind of necessary. To have a little bit more unit control. Oof! Oof! That was pretty... Ah! Oh my god, yeah, we need to heal, like, these these are really weak. I guess you don't have to heal, but, I mean, oof! You guys are gonna, like, oof, get wrecked here somewhat. Ah! That was actually fine, though. That was fine. But yeah, look, the game is even, because Ink wasn't all in. He just wanted to put early Castle Age pressure and then boom behind it. He needed to boom! He, so... The reason that he went for the units initially was to push Yellow Jacket back so that he could protect his booms. So that he's not just booming while Yellow Jacket has a bunch of units around him. So that was probably the correct play by Ink, actually. Is Georgian CA the best unit here? Uh, what do they have for bonuses? I'm not even sure. Let me just check. They have... Oh, Cavalry regenerates uh, HP. Yeah, that's really strong. And that affects these guys, too. So, yeah, see, look, they're regenning. That's actually pretty busted, in my opinion. It should not work on CA. Like, the devs just keep giving eco bonuses and crazy military bonuses to civs. They need to make some civs that 
don't have any real eco bonus, and then they can make them like super strong militarily. But I don't know. They like these little things. They're not busted on their own, but it's just when in combination with other things. Like this civ, you can build the fortified churches to make your dudes move or uh, work faster. So you want to just have your economy with like fortified churches everywhere, right? I'm pretty sure that that's the uh, the play. It's only 10%, but I mean, it's still 10% is quite a lot, actually. How else can you pay to win? Last time they did that, everyone whined about Bengalis. Well, Bengalis was. Uh, not that good because they had they their eco was decent like only decent and then their units were garbage so that's why it's like they boomed into nothing elephant archers these days are good they've gotten multiple buffs to get there though okay now yellow jackets just got the military so he's just kind of probably gonna dominate from here honestly ethiopians really needs to get on um archers he needs to go for crossbowmen. Cool. Going skirms for now, but those aren't gonna be that great. Like he really needs to get on to the uh, the archers, I think. I guess is arguably the only sit with no real eco bonus. Yeah. We're going forward. Going on this guy's face. Or here. I mean, deny, or, uh, that's, I mean, it It just kills all this, so it's fine. No need to rush it, right? This is like, just the safe castle where it's like, I know I'm ahead, I'm just gonna take the better positions, get to imp, and then just snowball. If you go too far forward, then maybe you won't have enough, and then maybe you get denied and you lose the game. If you go here, it's like, you're gonna maintain your lead, at least. Would it make sense to go for the Ethiopian tech where the camels take less damage from Cav? Uh, I mean, not at all. Because that requires a castle, and that requires a bunch of resources for the tech, and then it also requires a bunch of resources to make the uh, camels. So, that's very expensive for very little benefit. Monaspa! We got Monaspa on the field now. So 12 attack, and they do more damage based on how many friends they have around them. So you got lots of friends, they do extra damage. And friends being more Monaspas or knights. And yeah, these things also have three melee armor, so kinda crazy. There! Oh! The castles are touching! Anyways, I think Yellow Jack needs, needs to go up. He's making armor. Honestly, I, I think making these Monaspas with upgrades is a mistake here. Just go up and then just make trebs. And just get heavy CA. You don't even care about the skirms. Just staying in this age a little too long. Okay, good thing that was denied. Yeah, I mean, you see it now, so. I think you see this castle and then you have to click up, right? If you stay in this age for too long, it's gonna be a disaster. Oof, oof, oof! Yellow jacket, wake up! That's a bad castle. That's like fine if you're if you're ten percent up to imp right now, but like that is that is not what you want. This is actually starting to be really bad. I think we mismanaged the eco by sending a million to stone here. He's raiding with skirms. The skirm raids. Ay ay ay. So effective. What? I guess that's where his gold is. So this one's a little better. I mean, if sh it should have been on this hill though, right? You have scouting of it, you know. You have crazy scouting. Here and it ranges both TCs and more farms. Those beautiful Georgian castles. Beautiful. Eco coin to the damn hell. Yeah. 
And ink is up. We're really chilling a little too long in Castle Age here. He's going into the the archers, so yeah. If I mean, if he gets even crossbowmen with all the upgrades except Arb, it's gonna be pretty strong. Killed have heavy cav archers meta at 2k3? No, it's not. It's only your meta. Um, so yeah, we're killing a few. Which is good. You have to keep the pressure on. Just go to the next stage. Oh man, this mule card is going to just travel with these bills. You can go on any resource you want. Let's go. <laughs> Wait, does he not see it? Oh, he sees it though. Oh, yeah. Or I was going to say, does he not see it with the line of sight or something? But yeah. Um, I mean, Ink has no income. Well, he has this income. All that is required is another castle back here. And then the plan is complete. Trying to deny all his gold. Yeah, it makes sense. It does make sense. If he has no gold, he can't make arbs, right? How many how many trebs can he afford? He'll be able to afford like two, three though. If you get three trebs, it's just gonna kill all the castles though. Handcart coming in, okay, fair enough. But he's going to have Bracer. And then these crossbowmen are going to be very strong. Thanks. Yeah, Yellow Jacket is still in a dominating position. I'm just saying. I feel like uh, going to the Imperial Age and just making Trebs and winning in a normal way is also good. But uh, this is Yellow Jacket's style. Is denying the map. Just, uh, it's... It's pretty strong. I think a lot of Asian players play like this. Just deny all the resources. Instead of trying to siege, you just just try and prevent your opponent from taking resources. <laughs> Worth? Question mark. I mean, it is, but that's such an expensive dive. Like that's just Imperial Age that we just threw down the drain. Basically, we could have just had Imperial Age instead of making those Manaspas. <laughs> it's all that college book learning, reading Sun Tzu. <laughs> now we're kind of committed to the full castle age, though, so... Although, yeah, he doesn't have nearly enough. You you just make some guys and dominate these. It's not even a problem. Let's go. Just make so more castles than he can even kill. Wait, he stopped castle... Oh, he stopped tread production. Okay, well, yeah, he's he's just dead now. We can speed it up. The only way that Ink was going to do anything was if he could just push all these castles back with Trebs, but that's not going to happen. These are going to just die here. Dead. Manaspa. How much uh, damage are they doing? They have plus one. Oh, but that's from forging. Do they just not have enough dudes here to give the effect? I don't even know. Or maybe it doesn't show up in here. I don't know, but uh, well played. Well played.